guys it is nasty it is wet it is overcast it is gray out here today that's right it is perfect shooting weather oh this is not a good hair day though good for good for photos not good for hair and what we're gonna be talking about today guys is how to shoot portraits with window light we've got our gear we're gonna go and find ourselves some nice window light and we're gonna get some amazing photos today so stick with us. Let's head on out. Yeah, what's what's ha what's happening here, guys? Just you know, just just my normal hair day. Got Bailey joining me today. So that's my sister slash model. So setup number one. I'm I swear I'm not this vain, but my hair is just doing. I am this vain. <laughs> We're kidding. Setup number one. We um, turn Bailey into the light a little bit so that her left side of her face is a little bit more lit up by the window light because before when she first sat down she just kind of sat facing out into the room yeah she sat facing into the room and you can see there's no light on her face okay so then she t I had her turn into the light a little bit and um, we just kind of played with moving her back and forth that's with no fill on the left uh, right side of her face so there's some darker shadows but really like this is such a nice overcast gray day that it doesn't really make a difference. So we might try some with Phil in a minute, but we'll see. Right now we're going to take the 85 and do some close-ups. So let's do it. My hair looks buck. What is yeah, even like happening? I think that about covers pictures using side light with no reflector on this side. So we're not filling in any shadows. We're just letting the window light. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Rainy days! This is better. Whatever, that's better. Let me just talk like this. Now we're gonna grab a reflector and fill in some of those lights. Lights. Shadows. We're gonna fill in some of those. Never, this is the first and last time I'm doing a vlog with Bailey because this is what happens. <laughs> Filling in shadows on the right side. Okay, so this is what we just did with Bailey. You can see half my face is lit by the window. The window's right there. I'm just turned sideways to it. Half my face is just shadow. So depending, this could be what you're going for if you just want a little bit of a more dramatic shot. Now, Bailey's gonna bring in the reflector. Ah! See how we just filled in those shadows on the right side of my face? Did you like that song? I kind of like that. Okay. <laughs> so now we filled in the shadows on the right side of my face and all she's doing <laughs> is letting the light from the window come all the way across, bounce off of the reflector, and back onto my face. So now we have a nice even light. There it goes again, back in, off, in. And then depending on where she brings it, so if she brings it more to the front of me, like you can get too flat of a light. So now I don't really have any shadows on my face. No depth. No depth. But it really depends on what you're looking for. Now if she turns the reflector around, you see how we're now blocking any light so we get an even deeper shadow on the right side of my face in order to get some even more dramatic shots. So it just really depends on what you're looking for, but you can be totally creative with no, you can't. all of them. Yes, you can. <laughs> we're about to do the lazy man's version of this. I am gonna to try to hold this with one hand and shoot at the same time because I was too lazy to bring a, another stand with me. So now I'm suffering for it. reflector and we're gonna turn the black side up behind Bailey turn her into the light so the lights facing her directly and then 
we're going to make it look like she's in a studio just being lit in the front with a nice dark background behind her. Let's wait on, let's wait on that. She's mad. the opposite of what we just did. We're going to turn Bailey's back to the window so that the window light is going to turn really bright because we're going to expose for her. So make sure in these situations that you're exposing for your subject and then the background light, if it's a lot brighter, which it is in this situation, is going to go bright, like white. Show you lugging all my stuff. Okay, that's it for us. <laughs> my microphone fell off. Oh, please. Pro tip always secure your microphone. That's it for us. Bring a buddy to carry all your gear for you. Um, recap of events will be in the car. Okay. Hey guys, I am back in the studio. I know I said that the recap was gonna be in the car, but I lied to you because it was gross and rainy outside and I didn't feel like stopping and recording while I was in the car. So this is actually a few days later and we're gonna try and do a quick two minute recap of everything that we did just to kind of make it all really clear. So in the first situation, we didn't use any kind of bounce light. We only used the window light to light Bailey and we turned her both into the light and kept just her left side lit by the light. Next, we brought in the silver side of the reflector in order to fill in some of the shadows on the right side of her face, giving her a little bit more of an overall washed feel. In the third scenario, my personal favorite, we turned Bailey to face directly into the window light. I stood between her and the window and she held the black side of the reflector behind her in order to get kind of a studio-esque look. And then finally in the last situation scenario, how many times can I say scenario? In the last version, we took Bailey and turned her back to the window, brought her into the room a little bit so that her face would be a little bit darker and I exposed for her face, allowing the bright window light to be blown out and go to white. Quick side note guys that I didn't mention during the taping is that for the situations, uh, especially the black background and white background, you wanna make sure that you are spot metering for your subject's face. So don't use any kind of averaging metering. In the Nikon, it's called matrix metering or center weighted metering. I'm not sure what it is in Canon, sorry guys. But you just wanna be using the spot metering. So just take that teeny tiny little piece of the image, like just right on their face somewhere, tell the camera that's what you wanna meter for and then everything else will kind of fall into place. The lighting that day was just perfect. It was overcast, it was, it was diffused, it was coming through a big light source. Window light will change depending on what kind of situation you're working with, so don't always expect to get the exact same results every time, that's what makes it fun. So go out there, experiment, have fun. If you've made it to the end of the video, guys, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Hit subscribe, hit that like button, it really helps me out, guys, and I wanna keep bringing you this content and I'm just having so much fun doing it, so ah, let's do this together. All right, until next time, guys. I'm just embracing this now. <laughs> Do it again. Wait, Do it we used again. to think that these are called wrap. Uh, I did. Rap <laughs> that was me. She thought these were raptor, raptor claws. Oh, oh. we're taking off. <laughs>